Hi there, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Support in whatever way you feel that you should, whether your soul is guiding you to just walk, to just watch you are appreciated from that, for that as well i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness and many many blessings to you and your families as always please remember to stay in the purest of white light okay whatever the enemy stole from you is being returned to you immediately and permanently any evil and negative plans of the enemy against you and your loved ones are being dismantled as we speak as i have said so shall it be okay judgment is final okay so we have a queen of cups out here queen of cups there's a group that's fighting behind the scenes because of you it's not because you did something to these people it's because they have some type of ulterior motive for you but things are not going according to plan these people have some type of malicious plan to get you caught up in something but the plan has gone haywire you know they thought they had the perfect plan they were taking things one day at a time something like that like they they were dotting all their i's crossing all their t's and things like that and then there was some type of interjection intervention some type of just hot and they're not able to move forward with this plan someone was wanting to come in and cause you some type of mental conflict confusion and things like that they wanted to present themselves to you in a light that was just disingenuous and they were hoping that this was going to lead to you and them connecting in some type of love connection but it's not happening um spirit is not letting this person in your energy because they have ulterior motive people in this group want to take you to live in fear hesitation uh just unsure of yourself and your future your goals wanting you to like kind of fall off of your path not be committed to anything you're doing they want to you feeling in distress like they want you to juggle your opportunities so you could be someone that's abundant and you have a lot of opportunities coming towards you and these people wanted you uh making the wrong decision is that hey we know she has this opportunity coming in or he has this opportunity coming in that is going to be amazing let's let's present her with this one so maybe there will be a good chance that she'll choose the wrong thing when she's done choosing it we can tell her hi i got you we don't have anything for you you feel right um for some of you this is a love situation there's someone that wants to connect with you and people have been blocking this person from coming towards you i tell you this message has been coming out a lot for a lot of readers this the whole connection this divine union being blocked and interfered with i don't know when these two soulmates are going to unite finally but there is some type of blockage people are extremely committed to blocking you and this person from coming together and this is because the people around this person wants them stuck with some karmic um this person has some type of past life contract with this karmic that he or she is supposed to be breaking but the karmic will not let go or this person has friends and families that is misleading them right um in the wrong direction to either stay in an unhappy relationship or to go back to an on to a toxic person basically uh some people in this group actually most of the people in this group do know that you are someone genuine you are someone that will be good for this masculine or this feminine but they don't want to see you with this person they don't want to they, they don't want to see this person living a happy and fulfilling life so much for family and friends when you have people like this who needs enemies at the end of the day right so they are in collaboration in cahoots with one another to keep this person in whatever unfulfilling relationship he or she is in this person is like a puppet to these people they're all working this masculine or this feminine to the bone and maybe they don't even know it the masculine or feminine does not know that they're being used as a puppet everything that's going on in this person's life is actually is absolutely being strategized by these people right so if let's say he hasn't seen his ex in umpteen years or something they're going to set it up where he'll end up running into his ex and then and then things will be reunited if maybe they just broke up you know they're going to encourage him to pick up her phone call pick up his phone calls whatever it is like these people are very committed behind the scenes and for some some of you these masculines these uh feminine energies they just don't have the stable enough mindset <clears throat> to be able to put their foot down and say i don't want to be with this person i don't want nothing to do with this i'm moving on with my life and they don't necessarily necessarily have to come towards you queen of cups they just need to find their own voice 
their own path and stick to it, get away from toxicity because these people are very much committed to blocking this person from being in a fulfilling union. And that's because most of these people are not happy with the unions they are in. They don't even like themselves. Most of these people don't even like looking at themselves. They're betraying this masculine heavily behind the scenes and he may not know it. And this is something that's been going on for a long time. Someone in here is more than likely receiving advice from the wrong person. This could be a masculine energy that's asking someone he thinks he can trust for advice, but this is not someone he can trust. This is someone who's pretending to be uh, wiser than they are. Someone could be pretending to be a queen of cups as well for a specific masculine. Someone could be someone could be pretending to be a star seed. Someone has mastered the art of disguise, cloaking their energy, right? And this masculine is not going to know it until it's too late. Someone made a really horrible decision to go back to the past um, instead of going forward. So right now, the person he went back to is going to seem as though, you know, things are fixed now things are better they're headed towards the future they're headed towards abundance and things like that things are going to work out things are not going to work out this is a whole setup this feminine energy has been working with other people i'm telling you it's not going to work out this feminine energy has been working with other people behind the scenes to make sure that things go in her favor this is someone manipulating a lot of things around this masculine and even around you if she doesn't know you some of you these women are stalking you um driving to your home trying to have some type of interaction with you some of you they're trying to come towards you to fight and things like that and you just don't flow or roll that way if a feminine energy comes up to you to fight you and you're on Empress, you're just going to look them down, up and down like I wish you would and just walk away. But someone, there's a feminine energy that knows that she just absolutely cannot come towards you because it's not safe for her. It's not the, it's not the, uh, a healthy thing to do for her. It's not the, it's not the smartest thing to do. Let me put it that way. And that's for someone specific. Okay. So these people, because they don't want you in this masculine coming together they are doing quite a lot behind the scenes to not just interfere with your forward movement they don't want you to have any hope in life they may be trying to put an end to your work your source of income if you're working on a business like you own your own business or something of that nature these people are trying to find a way to put an end to it they just don't want you thriving and that's because this feminine energy wants to be seen as the more a proper option for this masculine even though she's not the right option for him uh this is someone extremely karmic dealing with a lot of insecurities that she's not willing to heal for someone i'm hearing that there's a feminine energy that's quite loose with her body body she sleeps with both genders and things like that um hmm. someone that does not have respect for themselves and things of that nature is just really an interesting situation and for some of you there's a masculine where there's a feminine energy that likes lets him do whatever he wants in like that department if he wants to go sleep with this person she'll let him if he wants to sleep with a man she'll let him like she just lets him do whatever she he wants she you know in enables him to indulge into the darker side of himself so that has caused some type of toxic bond between the two of them but it's absolutely destructive for him on a psychological and spiritual level and maybe he doesn't know it because this is not someone that's awakened someone could be going through some type of healing process or uh, or, or awakening but they're not advancing as fast as they should because they keep relapsing right because of their uh, uh connection to this toxic feminine right someone has been pretending to be a queen of cups i'm telling you they've been pretending causing illusions for some of you your enemies are absolutely fed up because everything they've been planning is just not going accordingly someone is going through healing uh the, everything they've been planning for you is just not going accordingly there's some type of huge hut that has been put in their plans against you for some of you there were plans to get you fired plans to get you locked up uh plans to get you pulled out of a home for some of you, you if you're uh it's, this this was all something that was supposed to happen to one person as well someone specifically you were supposed to go through all of these experience because they wanted you so down and out that this masculine would see you in a deplorable state and be there oh that's gonna be too much to that's too much baggage for me that's what they want him to see 
But even though this masculine is in some type of toxic connection with this woman and these people, he still knows uh, deep down on the inside and on a spiritual level that you are who he's supposed to be with. Um, and he still knows that you are someone of high character, moral character, high value, whatever that means for each person. He knows that you are probably a better option than the person he's with, and you'll always be a better option than the person he's with. But there's a toxic and unhealthy bond there because she lets him do whatever he wants to do. And he knows that if he comes towards you, he can't come towards you with all of that BS, right? So he is easier for him to stay with the person with low self-esteem, no expectations, no boundaries, insecurities and things of that nature so he's going to stay where he is and i would if i was you divine feminine that's a blessing for you in disguise because here you are elevating in life doing what you need to do to heal or to stay heal healing possibly other people depending on the type of work you're doing kind of just being a blessing overall an abundant person and you're in that beautiful energy and then you go and settle for someone just because they're your divine counterpart that's a relapse you know that when people are going through a a, a, a whatever they call it a uh, uh, um, rehab and things like that and then they relapse uh because they went somewhere they weren't supposed to go or they went and reconnected with someone they were not supposed to reconnect with that's what you will be doing relapsing basically on your spiritual journey so i wouldn't lose any sleep over it um you all know i always preach the message of don't rush into anything don't rush for anything don't be in a hurry for anything or anyone right so just let everything play out things will happen in divine timing if the universe uh, uh is stern that you two do have to be together it'll work out um, but you always have free will to decide who you want to be with. If you feel that your higher level soulmate is just not matching up to your frequency, your vibration, you absolutely do not have to be with them because you don't want to compromise yourself just so you can be with the person that is your soul twin, right? Your, some of you, your soul twin is still going through that dark night of the soul, right? He has a lot of love for you. He admires you, has a lot of admiration. I keep hearing the word admiration right someone sees you as someone that's, that has a lot of tenacity very strong and brave and forward moving and things like that but he's going through a dark night of the soul and right now it's not the right time for you two to be together and i don't know quite honestly for some of you if it is going to be the right time to be together ever so you are being gifted you may be gifted a higher level soulmate they're not your soul twin but they are a higher level soulmate they will be on your level of ascension. So you two will, uh, you know, connect very well, right? You'll understand each other very well. And that is how it's lined up for divine feminines and divine masculines. If something does not work out with one person, there's always a better option for you. There's always another option for you. Uh, and this is how it's set up by console, right? You have contracts with a lot of different people. That's it when it comes to the romantic side, uh, romantic aspect of life is the contract you have with A does not work out because A wants to be out here chasing Jizzy Bells and laying with any and everyone. Um, they'll say, okay, well, we don't have time for that. Go to B. And then, you know, they'll allow you go, to go through your healing process because of whatever experience you had with A. And then you move on to B, right? Things work out with B. And if things don't work out with B, there's C. Like they have it lined up where you are never set to lose, right? Um, if you are following your end of the contract, you are never set to lose. That's always better for you, right? Um, this is like, you know, you are, let's say you're dating, uh, 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 this is just an example. Let's say you're dating a basketball player or something and, you know, and he's out here, you know, you two start off on a good note. He's not cheating or anything like that. But then he gets in the NBA and his eyes open. He has all these options available to him. Now he's not coming home, not accepting your calls, not returning your text messages and things like that. And you're faithful to him. You make your cry to source repeatedly. You say, I don't want to be in this contract anymore. He's not following his end of the contract. I'm tired of being hurt. I'm tired of being disappointed and things like that. Um, you know, at, at some point, source will heed to your cry because they know you're doing what you're supposed to do in your contract 
and you may end up with Obama. Now your NBA basketball player has to watch you be with Obama on the TV, in the White House. Maybe he ends up losing his basketball career and he's stuck with Jesse Bell. Um, the Jesse Bell energy, they're not thriving in life. There is karma as well for them not following their end of the bargain. And we don't say it that way to say like people are forced to stick to their contract, but there are consequences for the actions we take, right? Because you're making an agreement with someone. It's almost like a business agreement. If you think about it, you have to fulfill your end of the contract and this person has to fulfill their end of the contract. You know, like those uh, employment situations where it's contractual like you're going to work for us for six months this is what we expect from you if we don't expect it then this is going to happen right this is going to how those contracts are people have to fulfill their end of the bargain and if they're done there's a lesson to be learned for them okay so whoever this masculine is that's struggling with this Jesse Bell energy, he's been struggling with for a few for a few lifetimes. And I keep being shown the number three. He and this woman has been in this karmic cycle for three lifetimes, right? You and this masculine are meant to be, but she did something in the first lifetime of the three to interfere with your connection. And now she feels that this masculine belongs to her, but he doesn't right because this is your soul twin he does not belong to her this is someone this feminine energy is someone that's insecure uh with clouded judgment right this is someone that lays low this I'm, i keep hearing that someone that sleeps with people for favors and i don't know how that works because that's never been my thing i just i have this mindset if i don't have it right now I, that means i'm not meant to have it i'm not doing anything strange for for nothing not for a favor not for some money not nothing and keep it I'm not meant to have it right now, right? But I keep hearing that someone does, like, uses their body to get favor from people. I don't, that's too much. I don't even want to picture that. I'm very visual, so I don't even want to picture that. Um, but this woman has some type of clouded judgment, misconception, that because she's been able to trap this masculine to her for three lifetimes, that he belongs to her, there could be people around them in this toxic low vibrational stuff that's going on thinking that you're the one trying to interfere with their connection but they said this is not really a genuine connection this is someone that's being held in prison and i don't even think he wants to be in this relationship but the fact that she lets him do whatever is like oh i'm gonna bring this person home to us tonight we're gonna have this person with us tonight in our bedroom she said yeah of course you know you know how we do deep down she's pissed off about it she's not happy about this masculine bringing this person into the room into the bedroom but you know someone sister is struggling with secure insecurity issues and things like that self-esteem issues so she thinks she has to do that to please him um so they've been doing this for so long he feels entitled to that it's like you let someone do something for let's say 10 15 years and then all of a sudden you don't want them doing it anymore what how are you going to tell them how are you going to tell them that oh i don't want you doing that anymore i don't want us bringing people into the bedroom anymore no that's not how that works because what you've introduced him to and permitted him to do is kind of like a drug you know what i mean d-r-u-g it's an addition now so someone in here either both of them or this masculine has sexual additions and things like that. So this is not something you can just tell him, you can't do this anymore. I don't want you laying with this person. You can only be with me now. That's not how it works. This woman, so this woman is imbalanced. Whoever this false queen of cups is, she is extremely imbalanced. She has a lot of fear for things that she did. Like she's being exposed. Like she wants this masculine to see her in a light that's just not hers right and she's doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes just to get things to go in her favor but they were not it does not matter how dark someone is how far into the dark they are they still know what's true and what's lie so they still know that you're faking something right they may not tell you they may not fix their mouth and say heifer i know that in you you're pretending to be someone you're not they're just gonna stay quiet because what's the point right they still get to do what they want you pretending to be something you're not, it's not going to, you know, hurt their skin. It's not going to make them lose sleep or something like that. So they'll let you carry on your show if it makes you happy. Okay. But there is someone in here with a lot of 
with s sexual addictions, okay? Oh Lord, yeah. Someone is a, a ladies man, someone is a man's man, like he, someone here goes both ways. It's what I'm hearing. And then there's a, a masculine that's just woman crazy. It's different for a lot of you, but I'm getting an energy about a masculine that does go both ways. And he has some type of soul contract with a divine feminine, but I don't think this is going to be coming into fruition um, because this person just has so much healing to do. If you decide to wait for him, you'll probably be waiting till you take your last breath in bed. Okay? So please, divine feminine, that self-respect you have for yourself, use that and take that new path that's being offered to you by the universe. Okay? There's a gift that's going to be given to you. It will be like a new masculine, a higher level soulmate is going to be gifted to you. And you are going to be gifted to that person. Um, so please stick to your boundaries, your self-esteem, your, your high morals and things like that and accept the gift that the divine is giving you. A lot of the times women think they're the gift in the relationship. You're both gifts in the relationship. He's a gift to you and you are a gift to him. You're not worth more than he is and he's not worth more than you are. Men and women serve different purposes in life and in relationships. We need to see it that way. But some women think they're special, special. Miss me with that. So anyways, this group is going to be heartbroken. Um, because even though they may be successful in blocking you from being able to connect with this masculine, you're still going to be receiving love, right? They're going through a lot of heartbreak right now, a lot of financial loss. They're experiencing quite a lot of loss right now, and these are all things they intended for you. Someone is heartbroken because now they have to pinch spending. They have to be smart with how to spend their money. Someone has gone broke paying for conflict to be causing someone else's life this is like someone and i've mentioned this on my channel quite a lot so it could be something that's going on right this is like someone you go into your boss trying to get you fired from work and your boss is looking at him like what the heck are you talking about why would i fire this person they don't cause me any problems like they work they show up to work they do their job i don't have any complaints about them i don't have any concerns about them like who the heck do you think you are and someone just said, well, I'll give you $40,000 if you fire them. And your boss is probably looking at them like, fool, who are you talking to? Like, get out of my face, right? Some of you, your bosses didn't do that. They probably sat back and consider it. But then some of them, they're like, mm, nah, nah, I don't get a good vibe from this person. Some of you don't even know like the people you, the new people you are around are gifted and they're not going to tell you that they're protecting you behind the scenes. Um, so they're not going to have the conversation with you and be like, hey, this nutcase came to us and said we should fire you, but we're choosing not to because whatever they're saying just is not making sense to us. They're not going to tell you that. They're protecting you from behind the scenes, right? But someone here, either your boss is a feminine energy that resides in her masculine energy, or this is a masculine. Someone definitely came up to them and offered them bribery, like money, so that they could break your heart, basically uh, fire you from work or do something, right? And this person refused to do it. Um, and it shocked whoever was paying them because they thought they were offering a whole lot of money. There's something like that going on for someone behind the scenes. And for another person, unfortunately, your boss did accept the money. And he's trying to figure out how to, you know, kind of let you go. They're trying to find reasons to let you go. But you may be like a masculine that shows up to work on time. You do what you're supposed to do. They've never had any complaints about you. So they may be having a hard time finding a reason to let you go. So they may just say, oh, we're downsizing. So we're going to have to lay you off, something like that. Um, and whoever is paying them behind the scenes is more than likely going to this group and saying, hey, he's about to get fired. Just watch, just watch. In two days time, he's about to get fired, right? And for some of you, your boss more than likely tricked this person and told them they're going to let you go. And they went back to their colony and told them, yep, he's about to get fired. Give it three days, four days, four days came and passed. What had happened? 14 days later. Dude, you said she was going to be fired. You said he was going to be fired. Let me make my phone call. Hey, Mr. Man that owns that, that business, you said she was going to be fired. You said you was going to fire him. What's going on? Oh, 
I choose not to. I decided not to. Can I get my money back? Nah, I'm going to keep the money. Gangster. That's what gangster is. Because what are you going to do? Go tell the police that you paid to have someone fired and the person chose not to fire them? That's bribery. That's blackmail. You're going to jail. You are going to jail. Right? Yeah, that's what that is. But someone has been very committed. Uh, for some of you, this could be the parents of this masculine, his baby mama, his ex-wife, or even his wife, right? They are all very committed to blocking you from coming in connection with this masculine. And for you, Divine Feminines, I don't even get the notion that most of you even know who this person is or if you even care to be in a union, let alone a union with, uh, with him. This is possibly someone you're not even paying any attention to, not losing sleep over. So you have a woman in competition with you for a man that you don't even think about. Make it make sense. And these people fear you. They fear you. They fear you because they know what they've been doing behind the scenes to destroy you, but they are not able to. And these people know that you know what they've been doing, everything they've been doing, every move they've made, every plan they've made, because you're someone that's showing up as the Queen of Cups, which means you're a dreamer. Things are being revealed to you in your dreams. Like you are seeing what these people are planning before they even carry it out. Some of you can hear people's thoughts so you know what they're saying, what they're thinking before they even do or say anything. And it freaks them out. If you're around these people, you may say something from now, here and now, here and then, right? And they're like, how the heck does she know like what I'm thinking or what we were planning? How does he know what we were planning? Is this B-I-T-C-ish psychic? Is this B-I-T-C-ish a mind reader? Hold on, who's snitching in this group? Who, who, who's been talking to him? Who's been talking to her? How do you know what we were planning? But that's because you're showing up in this Queen of Cups energy. You know, you're a dreamer. So things are revealed to you in your dreams, right? There's someone here, there's a, either a wife of a masculine, an ex-wife of a masculine, baby mama of a masculine, girlfriend or ex-girlfriend of a masculine that is sending a masculine to you to gaslight you. He wants to come in and be the perfect specimen, right? He wants to come in and pretend to be your the ideal counterpart. Like, hey, I know you don't know who I am, but I've been watching you, you know. I see you sometimes when you come out. I ain't never seen you a day in your life at your home. He's been watching you either on social media or they've been studying you in some way, shape, or form. But anyways, let's, keep, let's carry this uh, uh, script on okay let's carry the script on i've been watching you you know i really like you and i was wondering if i could take you out like they are going to come in and put it on it's going to be saucy and everything that you're going to think that you and them are meant to be you have a soul contract blah 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 that's what they think is going to happen but if you are a queen of cups you are someone who's has control of your emotions Right, so you'll know that this is a faker. You have an actual divine counterpart, not a higher level soulmate that you're going to be connecting with that'll be in the same vibration as you. And when they come in your energy, there will be no confusion. You won't feel uncomfortable around them because that's oftentimes what happens when an energy is pretending to be another energy. What do we? How do we feel collective? We feel uncomfortable. We get a little bit of an anxious feeling around the person. We don't know what the heck is going on. It's them. That source telling you, stay the heck away from that person. That's ulterior motive. Anytime someone comes in your energy and you get this whole overwhelming feeling of uncertainty, you don't know if they're this, you don't know if they're that, that's a false person that you are interacting with, right? Oh, it may mean that you need to go through some type of healing so you can be in tune and in alignment with your higher self. Okay? Absolutely. You have a higher level soulmate who is a king of cups as well that you are going to be aligning with. It is not whoever is hiding. They don't want to show their face. 
right? And this person is coming out of a chapter where they were heartbroken as well, betrayed and things like that. So you two are going through some type of healing. Maybe you've gone through your dark night of the soul or he's gone through his dark night of the soul. But just know that when you two come together, you'll be healed. For some of you, you work with your higher level soulmate. For some of you, you do and you don't know it, right? And for someone out here, you're going to be receiving some type of promotion, right, at work. And it's going to put you in a new bracket. This is something that's unexpected. So don't go changing anything about your routine so your boss cannot believe that, yep, that I was right. We should give her that promotion. Nah, stay the way you've been. Because however, however you've been showing up to work, whatever you've been doing has been working out. So don't change anything about yourself now. Don't go in there pretending to be something you're not. If you want... If you weren't using the company script, answering the phone for the past six months, don't start using it now, okay? Because your boss is going to tell you, say, mm, Mariah, what was that? Girl, you know we have not heard you say this, that speech in six months. Now, what's going on, right? So just keep it cool. Keep it cool. You will absolutely be receiving something, okay? Keep it cool. <coughs> Don't be in there trying to sweep the floors now when you know you haven't been sweeping that floor like you're supposed to in three months. Don't be in there wiping down counters, offering to go get your boss his lunch and stuff like that. Girl, stop it. My brother, chill. What's yours will be given to you. You don't have to pull any tricks and things like that to get it, okay? But someone is about to go like really high up in life and these people have been doing stuff to all of you to block you. I told you this absolutely has to do with your abundance. Something is being hidden from you about uh, either an inheritance or an abundance. An abundance <laughs> for some of you, it is absolutely being hidden. People don't want you to figure it out. But if you're showing up in this Queen of Cups energy and an Empress energy, you know that the universe is in communication with you constantly you know that like you have an inkling that something is going on and no matter what people are doing to hide it from you you still know something is going on right you may not know that you have a union coming towards you as well you like you all have like abundance abundance coming towards you your enemies are going through like some type of destructive ending going through towers and things of that nature and you're elevating in life right Someone wanted to cause you confusion about your money, interfere with your money, like your finances, your livelihood, and things like that. But you're about to be achieving success. Like, you're going to be so successful, it's going to be, like, disgusting to these people. Is that how can one person have that much money or wealth? Why do they get to be together? You know, when people get to that point where they're wondering why, 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 but someone else, <laughs> they're not secure within themselves because... Secure people don't care what other people have going on in their lives. They worry about themselves. You bring someone else's life to them, they'll look at you like, mm, that don't have nothing to do with me. Good for them. They're happy. That's all that matters. Okay? Uh-oh. Yeah. Someone now knows. Oh, wow. Someone, I don't know if like the masculine you're supposed to be with or the feminine you're supposed to be with did not know that you were someone that was genuine and they, they had a contract with you or something like that, but now they know. However, for a lot of you, these contracts cannot be fulfilled because whoever you're supposed to be with is not you. So this higher level soulmate you are being partnered up with is the one you are going to be elevating within life. You two are about to connect and will be man manifesting some type of new reality, right? New way of doing something that people have been doing or you're going to be inventing something new, some type of new business idea. And it's going to be based on something that's of high moral standards, good judgment like you'll be healing people people will know they can trust you your relationship is going to be something people admire and some people envy and things like that but it's going to be very genuine and when people see you two together they will know that your connection is very genuine 
For some of you, the masculine is older than you. For some of you, the feminine energy is older than you. And people are going to see you two together and say, how are they together? But it's something that is on a spiritual level. So if your partner is older than you, then they kind of represent that mature side of you, right? And if you're younger, then you're, you represent that vibrant and lively side of them, right? So you basically balance each other out. Some people are old souls living in a young body and some people are young souls living in an older body. Um, so you two are going to figure out your your a routine, what works for you, uh, and it's going to inspire other people to want something genuine, something like you two have, right? So yeah. Uh, someone may be def defending their connection with you now. For some of you who you will end up with your soul twin, like they are taking actions now to step to stand up to these people, right? To defend your relationship with them or your contract with them because of the fact that they know now who you are, what you represent to them, things of that nature. So they are taking like what I'm getting is that this is an energy that has always kind of played the sideline. It's like he's been living for all of these years and people have been living his life for him. They're telling him who he can date, who can who he can associate with, where he can go, where he cannot go, who he can talk to, who he cannot talk to, what he can eat, what he cannot eat, what he can wear. Something like that about a masculine. His life has not been his. He's been like a puppet for these people. And it's because he could be someone that's either wealthy or comes from a religious background. So he's been groomed into some type of mindset. But then the lifestyle that he lives behind closed doors with this Jizzy Bell that he's with is kind of contradictory because they do a lot of interesting things. Let's put it that way, right? So this person is coming out of some type of paradigm that is just chaotic and he's going to have to make his way into a new paradigm but that's going to take time and it's going to be up to you to be patient with this person um yeah you're going to have to you're going to need a lot of patience with this person oh ooh, yeah who someone here your your counterpart is not healing there's no forward movement nothing Something, it's like, for some of you, it's like this masculine knows now that you're supposed to be together, but he's not healed. So he's kind of hesitant to come to worship. He doesn't want you to judge him and things like that. He wanted to take actions to come into worship, you, but he, he didn't. He couldn't. Because he feels either embarrassed or something. There's something that this man, this is someone that's in their head quite a lot. He's in his head quite a lot. So it's that one moment he wants to do something, the next moment he changes his mind. So if he comes to you now, this is possibly how your relationship with him is going to be. One moment he's, you know, all for it. And then the next moment it's a, uh, you know what? I want to go back to my toxic karmic girlfriend or ex-wife or wife that lets me do whatever I want to do. Sleep with whoever I want to sleep with. I don't want to be here anymore. So this could be for some of you, someone that's coming in to gaslight you, but... Whoever this masculine is that is not your higher level soulmate, he has a lot of healing to do. Do not rush in to, to be with this person just because you're tired of being alone or you feel lonely, whatever it is. Do not do it, right? He thought he could... He, oh, man. That, this masculine, oh, his head. His head is so shaky, shaky. You all know I like to use that term on my platform. His head is so shaky, shaky. It's agitating. This is so agitating. It's like someone was standing their ground and then they felt defeated the next moment. So they decided not to take action. I don't know if maybe someone said something to him. Someone did something. Someone probably possibly manipulated this person. So he's not taking action because this is not, this is not someone that thinks for themselves. So whatever you tell them is what they believe. They don't go to find the truth out. If they've known you for 20 years, then they feel like they can trust you. And you know a lot of the times that's not how that works. Just because you've known someone for 20 years, just because someone gave you birth, just, just because someone is a sibling, a family member, does not mean you can trust them. You still need to go out and self-actualize and figure things out for yourself. Find out the answers, right? 
Be like the fool, have the mindset of the fool where you're embracing new new uh, opportunities, new journey, embarking on journeys and things like that you've never embarked on before so you can experience the world. I, um, I keep getting like a cult-like mentality where this group kind of, kind of uh, stick together because they all have that same low vibrational mindset. So it makes them feel comfortable because, you know, it makes it easier when you have uh Twitter D here that things like you and Twitter dumb there that things like you so they you know encourage you to keep being dumb Twitter D Twitter dumb you can be Twitter D dumb so it's like a bunch of karmics that don't quite understand how life works but because they've been around one another for so long and they do the same things. They indulge in the same low vibrational activities. And they're accustomed to doing that. They think that's the only way to live. And if they see anyone else that does not live like them, they think, oh, that's a fake person. But who doesn't sleep around? Who doesn't like live with other people outside of their partners? Is that um, the rest of the world? The rest of the world doesn't do that. And these are people that won't even come out and say it publicly because they know the rest of the world is going to look at them like, what the heck is wrong with these people? Like, what era are you all from? Why are you all choosing to set us back 500 years or 5,000 years or something? Like, these people have a very, like, toxic mindset. But because they have people around them that act the same way they do, behave, talk, think, the same as they do, they think it's okay. And if you're someone that's different from them and don't believe in any of their nonsense, they think you're the problem. So you speaking up about it or you refusing to be part, you refusing to be a part of their low vibrational activity, it bothers them. It makes them feel uncomfortable. They think that you think you're better than them. It's not that you think you're better than them. You just don't do things like that. You don't indulge in things like that. And sometimes people, you know, they'll feel uncomfortable with you rejecting them because of things like that. Simply because they know that what they are in is wrong, what they're doing is wrong, but they don't want to admit it. So they'll point, point at you, they'll project onto you that, oh, you're judging us. You think you're better than us? No, you're saying that I'm better than you because I never said I was better than you. But I mean, collective, divine feminines, divine masculines, honey, um, if you're not out here trying to end people, letting it lose of people, um, do we really have to say that? Like you have self-respect for yourself? Do we really have to say that? I'm telling you, these people, they sleep with one another. These people sleep with one another, each other's partners, other people outside of the group unbeknown to members of the group sleeping with exes current partners anything anyone they, that is crazy i don't get it like the modern day quotes they're just like so low vibrational they're not learning nothing nothing of a secret knowledge is going on Nothing about higher knowledge is going on, higher wisdom. Nothing about ascension is going on. All they do is get together and take their clothes off. That's all they do. There's nothing of substance going on in these groups anymore. Like there was a time in history when cults, their purpose was for ascension, higher knowledge, acquiring knowledge that was not available to the rest of the public that's what courts were for but for some reason they turned into things that just had to do with taking your clothes off and just sleeping with people just being careless with your body being careless with yourself and it's like the very thing that you are supposed to be achieving in a cult as far as ascension is what you're blocking because every time you lay with someone you are forming a soul tie to that person. That's more That's more healing you have to do. So you're digressing even more in life. And people don't say that to tell you that you're a bad person or something. 
They're just trying to help you see things from a different perspective that you don't have to sleep with multiple people to ascend, to purify your energy, to feel, to feel powerful in life. As a matter of fact, you're weakening yourself. It's like you go in, you know, like the fall of Lucifer, as they tell us about whether it's true or not. Um, that's kind of what that is. It's that you going from being the bringer of light to bringing destruction. But most of the time, you're only bringing destruction into your own life because you're the one that's con that's attaching yourself to all these different souls and forming all of these different soul contracts and bonds with people soul ties and things like that that you have to work off in multiple lifetimes because some of these people they won't be able to work off these uh, car, uh contracts in this one lifetime they're gonna have to incarnate multiple lifetimes just to be able to work off the karma or the debt that they've uh accrued but when you see stuff like that they think oh they think they're better than us no you choose to be the way you are if you feel comfortable saying that it's okay for you to lay it loose with Tom, Dick, and Henry, I can feel comfortable telling you absolutely not. I will not be participating. Freedom of speech is in the Constitution. You don't believe me? Look it up. So someone is not taking action towards you collective because this soul contract just cannot be because this person is not healed. Okay, this person is flippy floppy, flip flop. One meaning they want to be with you, they're defending your relationship, and then someone says something to them, and then all of a sudden they've changed their mind, they don't want to defend the relationship anymore. Next meaning, oh, you know, I, they, they're probably messing with my head. I do think like I do love this woman, or I do love this man. I think I am going to go make a, a solid offer to them someone is very imbalanced mentally and you need to give them time to heal if you do decide to get with them okay someone was supposed to come in for one of you to give you some type of offer uh heal things with you it was going to lead to abundance for you and them you two are going to have like multiple streams of income and things like that but they're not coming because this person is not ready so you're going to be receiving some type of promotion at, at work, whoever you were that I mentioned that earlier. You are going to be receiving something at work, um, and it's going to put you in a different bracket. You're not expecting this. This could be like a masculine energy that this is going to be happening to. But again, it could be a feminine energy that resides in their masculine energy. Um, but you're going to be receiving some type of promotion at work, right? Uh, whereas you were supposed to partner up with someone to get some type of you know, abundance, some type of uh, 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 um, just elevation in life. You will receive that, but right now you're going to get your promotion at work um, and then you'll keep working on whatever it is you're working on or spirit is going to spark something in your mind and you're going to invent something, something new or some way of doing things and it's going to be very fruitful for you, okay? Someone, there's a letter that's supposed to come towards you and someone choose either not to bring it towards you bring it to you someone either interfere with this message or someone does not want this message coming towards you from the courts there's something here that has to do with business you're supposed to be very abundant like there's either a position that you're supposed to receive some type of inheritance that you're supposed to receive and you were supposed to receive a message from the courts someone interfere with that there could be like a maintenance guy that is stealing mail and hiding it um, that is going to come out for someone out there. Like this man, he has access to people mailboxes. If you stay in a building, a, a, an apartment complex, a duplex, whatever it is, he has access to people's mailboxes. And someone hired this man, told this man to go in your mailbox and take mail out of there if it's coming from a specific address. So he's been stealing your mail. So there's something you were supposed to receive from an official person, like through the mail, like you were supposed to receive some type of official mail, but this man stole it and he's either like dropping it in his draw or he's hiding it or he's doing something with it. But someone is stealing mail. Someone is stealing mail. Someone is interfering and that's a crime. That's a federal crime, I think. From what I've learned in the past, 
I think that's a federal crime. Like just opening someone's mail, that's a crime. So he shouldn't even be touching your mail. Like someone, when you get your mail, he goes in the mailbox, he takes all the mail out and he goes through them. And if he sees something official looking like some type of notice about a case, he'll take that and put the rest of the mail back that doesn't have anything to do because someone behind the scenes told him what to look for and he's been doing that for a long time. So you are supposed to re receive some type of message and he's been interfering with it. This is a federal crime. Someone is about to go to jail for stealing mail. That this could be like an organization that is doing this behind the scene, telling this man to do it. They paid him to do it. He was paid to steal mail from you specifically. He was paid to do that. This is why you're not receiving, you're not showing up where you're supposed to. Like you're not responding to something you're supposed to respond to because people are doing stuff behind the scenes to block your response. And this man is going to be found out. Like this is the one, they will know it's him because he's the only one. He's the only other person with access. Or if he doesn't have access to your mailbox, what he does have access to is when the mail person comes to deliver the mail, he'll go and meet with them. So that means that the mailman is in cahoots with this person and this organization. They're all in cahoots. It's some, someone is in something that's bigger than they realize. And it's all gonna come out. It's all gonna come out. This group is going to be disappointed because everything they've been doing is still not going to block anything. You're still going to get your wish fulfillment. Like whatever is meant for you, you're still going to receive it. And if someone's, I'm telling you, judgment, you're still going to receive it. Whatever disappointment these people are going through, this is judgment. This is divine intervention. This is the angels acting on your behalf. They're like, okay, we've had enough of your shenanigans. You've entertained us enough. Someone, for someone out there, a collective member, someone stole something from you and they thought it was going to be the end of the world for you, but you just kept pushing on. You kept moving on. Like, you didn't make a big fuss about it. And that's because whatever they stole from you, you probably didn't need it. Like, you have, like, quadruple that coming towards you. But whatever they stole from you is still going to be taken from them. And if it was money they already used it, they still have to pay you back that money. If it was a home that they stole, they still have to give you back that home. Someone is planning on burning some type of building down, whether it's a company, whether it's a house. They don't want to let go of this property, so they're planning on burning it down, or this was a plan in the past. Now, whatever it is they're planning is either to sell something that belongs to another person, but the sale cannot be official because legalities taxes so they cannot sell what belongs to you and if they do there's going to be a court case that comes out of this and everyone is going to be found out like people have been going above and beyond to hide some type of inheritance that belongs to someone else and regardless of what they do the truth is still being exposed by your angels by the universe it's still being exposed there's a dream I had where something was exposed to me, but I cannot say it out here because I know certain people are watching from my past and I am not about to help you. I am not about to help any of you. So you're going to eat your humble pie that's coming towards you. That humble pie, oh, it's going to be some large slices of slices of humble pie large and i saw when i had that dream i woke up i said spirit really dang thank you dang like that okay judgment has been called on a king of wands oops 
Judgment has been called on a king of wands who's lost a whole lot of money. Someone has fallen from grace. Someone did not have a mind of their own. They were out here causing a lot of illusions. I'm telling you, ha, Lord have mercy. Judgment has been called on a king of wands for doing something to interfere with someone else's forward movement. Someone could have blocked some type of promotion for you, queen of pentacles. They saw you focused on work. They decided to cause some type of illusion or they partner up with a karmic group of people to cause illusions and things like that about you. They've been working over time, bending over backwards to interfere with your forward movement, your life, everything, right? Someone is in some type of competition with a King of Cups as well. They don't want this person coming towards you. This could be this group not wanting this King of Cups coming towards you or giving you some type of promotion for some of you feminine energy and things like that. But you're going to receive what's yours. Sorry, I have to adjust my chair. You're going to receive what's yours. It doesn't matter how hard they push, how hard they bend over backwards, what tricks they do, it's not going to work, okay? It's not going to work. Someone is mad that you recover. Lord, I'm telling you, it's not going to work. You're going to have wish fulfillment. Lots of opportunities. They've been trying to block this. It's not going to work. Someone is just really stubborn. They want to force your way. Like someone wants to force their way into your life. This could be someone that you had some type of contract with, but they fell from grace. Judgment has been called on them. They cannot come towards you, but they're trying to force themselves into your energy. Like, hey, hey, can you see me? Can you feel me anymore? Don't you feel me? We're so twins. Meanwhile, you don't even know they're there. You're like, um, I'm too busy living my bougie life. Be gone. And they're still there. Hey. And your voice is getting fainter and fainter. And you're like, huh, I thought I heard something. You know you heard something, Queen of Pentacles. You know you heard something. <laughs> but you're too busy living this bougie life coming up. You are about to be like in your privileged energy. You know I like to call this card my privileged lady, privileged gentleman card. Like things are about to be absolutely beautiful for you. There's a queen... Th there's a queen of pentacles in here and a king of cups. These two are working together. They still have a plan. You know how Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream? These two have a plan that one day they're going to defeat a star sea. Absolutely not. It's not happening. Judgment has already been caught on these people. So whatever plan they're coming up against, coming up with against an empress energy, queen of cups energy, it's not going to be happening. These people are about to be losing quite a lot. Quite a lot. This is greed at this point. Both of these people are greedy. Both of these people are greedy. And this is for someone's specific situation. And for another one of you, this is a king of, king of wands that wants to come in. Hey. Hey. Remember me? We're so twins. Like, mother effer. If you don't get away from me... You didn't know we were soul twins when you were betraying me? You didn't know we were soul twins when you were stealing from me? Right? I'm telling you. You're about to be celebrating. They want to come. <clears throat> this is their new plan. <laughs> they want to come. They want to force their, their way into your life. Force their way into your energy. So that they can make some type of proposal to you. Their plan is that you and them are going to get married. Blah, 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 blah. You know why you two are supposed to get married? Because you have some type of abundance attached to your name. And this person has been working with this karmic group behind the scenes to block your forward movement. Block you from receiving this abundance. But now that they know everything they did did not work. It didn't block nothing. Now they want to marry you. Now they know that you are the one. I am speaking the God honest truth. Now they know that you are the one, that special one for them. You've got a friend in them, right? Let's sing the song collective. You've got a friend in me. This King of Wands says, you got a friend in him. You've got a friend in me. Hey, when the road looks 
Rough ahead and your mouth and mouth and your warm, nice bed. Yeah, that ain't gonna be happening, King of Wands. Sister don't want nothing to do with you. You stay where you are. There will be no marriage between you and this person because this person already has a higher level soulmate that's coming in for them per the judgment of the universe. I'm telling you, Darcy, they want to get married to you. This is the new plan, but you already have a higher level soulmate. And they could be a king of wands too. They could, they themselves could be a king of wands. Maybe they're working on something and they're almost there. They're almost at your door. They're almost in your light. There could be a masculine behind the scenes that's overworking himself right now so that when you two do connect, that there will be no distractions where he does where he has to like be like, oh, I have to go do this, I have this responsibility, I have to go, you know, uh take care of this client. Like he's working overtime just to make sure that when you two connect, there is going to be a time of joy where you two are focusing on each other, getting to know each other healing together and things like that because because this person know you're a healer right but they're not coming in to take advantage of you someone is coming in to let you know i'm not i don't want nothing from you i just want you know to be around you i just want to get to know you they like your energy you're positive you're about your business Ooh. okay <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, King of Wands. Mm-hmm. He thought he was going to come in, marry you, have, have you know, access to your wealth and things like that. So I don't think so. This person is a thief. Someone is a thief. Someone has a lot of ego, right? They don't do the right thing unless there's money involved. That's who they are. Someone is someone is like greedy as can be, but they're being told to walk away. They have to walk away. This union between you and them will not be happening. Judgment has been called on this person. Someone fell so far from grace, even their ancestors do not want to be with them, don't want to be associated with them. That's how far from grace they have fallen and they don't realize that. But they're still coming towards you. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you feel me? And you're like, uh, did you guys hear something? No. No one heard anything. Okay. So the, the, this group, whatever they're going through, that's their judgment. That's their karma. That's their karma. It's well-deserved. These people are fighting amongst themselves because someone still has intense emotions for you. Someone is still passionate about you. It's that whatever these people have been, you know, practicing their lies, perfecting their lies. You know she's a witch. You know he's a witch. He's into dark magic. She's into dark magic. If you go to her, She's going to be doing magic on you and he's going to be doing magic on you. But the whole time they've been doing magic on this masculine. The whole time they've been doing magic on him. But they're telling him that you're the one who's the voodoo priestess. You're the voodoo priestess or the voodoo priest. But meanwhile, they're the ones doing that. Just a lot of madness going on. But whoever you end up with, that higher level soulmate you end up with, is going to be a lot of joy, a lot of celebration. Someone is about to balance you out and you're about to balance them out. A lot of equal giving, take reciprocity, teamwork, family front taking care of. Someone is family oriented just like you. Someone is big on loyalty just like you. So... Source, what is your advice to us today? Okay. Yeah, I know Source be on it over here. We ask for the advice and Source gives it to us. Hey, you don't have to ask twice. 
I got you. I got you, darling. I got you, baby girl. I got you, collective. Let me know if you like the gold cards. I was trying something new. Uh, I, I bought these a while back, like maybe like three, four months ago or something like that. Um, but I got so comfortable with these ones, you know, my blue cards. I got so comfortable with these ones. I was like, I know they're beginner cards, but I like them. So I want to use them. But now I've realized that when I'm doing my messages, sometimes the words are popping up to me instead of like what I'm supposed to be seeing. That's why I'm like kind of getting away from those because I want my reading to be more fluent. I don't want to be paying attention to words and things like that. And then I'm someone who is more of um, like an intuitive reader because I have half other different clairs. Um, I read on, based on my intuition, not always what I'm seeing here. Um, so I'm not like a, I'm not like the readers that, like, you know, they need the cards. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but some readers do rely on the cards and things like that. And the cards tell them the message. I have my message because I get downloads and I have dreams and things like that. So I read based off of my intuition, right? And then the cards kind of just help solidify what I'm saying, um, if that makes sense. Um, but readers that use the cards, you know, for their stories, I think that's beautiful too. That's a gift um, because some of us, we struggle with these pictures, putting two and two together with the pictures. Um, so my, my cards are used to kind of confirm what I'm saying for me. Um, but I really admire the people that use the cards to put the pictures together um, and create you know, their stories, tell their stories and things like that. Anyways, let's get into our advice of the day. We have the number seven, okay? It's that you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most. I am brilliant. Absolutely. I always encourage everyone, wherever you are in life, learn as much as you can. Knowledge is priceless. Okay. I don't care if you're 102, you're five years old, you're in your, your middle age, whatever it is, whatever knowledge you can acquire, acquire it. Read as much as possible. Watch videos if that's how you learn. We all learn differently. Some of us are practical learners. Some of us are analytical learners. I need a little bit of both um, for me because I'm extra. But learn as much as possible because that's how you um, develop self-awareness through knowledge. Going within as well, things like that. You open your mind. You broaden your horizon. Um, the more knowledge, the more experiences you open yourself to, right? And I'm working on, you know, I feel like a hypocrite saying that uh, the more you open yourself to, because I stay in my home most of the time because I'm either working, doing school work, spending time with my kids at home. So uh, this year, I'm working on getting out a little bit more. Regardless of what's going on in my life, I'm working on getting out. You know, spending time outside of these four walls, uh, four walls. Anyways, thank you for watching, Collective. Stay blessed. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.